Hello, beautiful people. This is Marisa Anglade on giving you the tea on everything healthy. Today, I want to update y'all. But anyway, I want to start by saying Happy New Year. Where's my cup? I, I need a cup. I should have had a cup of tea, drinking it to just be in the mood to give y'all the tea on the update of my adoption. So yes, I'm officially a mommy. I can legally be titled mommy. If there was, um, yeah, there, it is a thing, right? Yeah, you could be legally a mommy. <laughs> yes, I am somebody's mommy. Yes, that's, that's, that sounds good, that feels good. It, it does. It has a nice ring. Mommy, Mommy Anglade. <laughs> I ask him, what's my name? It's Mommy Anglade. Anyway, um, soon and very soon, um, I will have him in a video with me, but I had to get my life together. Mauricia had to get her life together. So we adopted in April. So April, uh, I should have this date memorized because April's actually the month of my marriage anniversary. So April 13 or 14 is when I got married. Um, so we're actually coming up on eight years of marriage. Um, and it's also the month of our adoption. So we said I do, um, all three of us, my husband, um, my son, and myself, we said I do on that day. Um, of our adoption and it was awesome. I thought I was going to be more teary-eyed and crying with Howie, but I think I did all that all that pre-adoption. Um, so post-adoption, it was like, it's, it's official. It's done. It's over. Um, so that was nice. We, what we did, we took pictures. We took some nice little pictures. If I knew how to work all this, I'll be like the pictures right here. Um, I do have an Instagram page called Angle 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 Country Living Journey. Um, I'll put the description in, a, in the description box. You'll see a picture there. Um, I did try to do Facebook after six years, but it's not my thing. Yeah, life is just too much to add that to my life. So, but yes, um, so his name is Roman Anglade. We call him, his middle name is Journey. So it's Roman Journey Anglade. Um, we can call him RJ for short. We don't, we haven't yet. We call him Roro. <laughs> but um, Roman is his name. And I picked that name way before we had him in our life. And so I knew I wanted a boy first and his name would be Roman. So I looked up our names and I could not find any I liked. And I stumbled across the name Roman. I'm like, that's the name. That's the name I'm going to name my son. Um, knowing that that's what we were praying for. Um, I wanted a boy first and then granted, you know, if we do have another child, the girl would be second. And so I had her name pick out too, um, which is Micah, would be the name if I had a daughter. But Roman, you know, for my name, my name is Mauricia, so M for me, and R for my husband, his name is Ralph. And so I had to have an R, we're not doing Junior, but we need to have an R name. And so Roman is how I picked that name. I fell in love with that name, and I knew that was the name that was going to be for our son. And when we had a son, his name was Roman, the name that I picked. And so, um, so yeah, so that's that with that. And so after we were done, we took pictures, we went to the courthouse, we had an official there. Um, and then afterwards we came home, did some garden work and then went out to go eat and went to the park to have a picnic at the park. And we just enjoy the day. And so just, you know, just, trying to grasp it all in. I didn't want to have any distraction. I wanted to be all in. I was already all in before. I treated him as he was our son um, so that whether he stayed with us or not, he had the full love from the beginning. No hesitation, no hold back. 
And so that was great to be able to continue in that. And so just focusing on getting my house in order, getting, you know, trying to find a sweet schedule um, for the whole family, for myself, um, just really encompassing everything that um, motherhood brings, um, the sacrifices, the limitations, the joys, the tiredness, the like, oh my gosh, <laughs> all that and then some. Um, but I love, I love, I love him. <laughs> he keeps me on my toes. He keeps me talking. <laughs> um, he keeps me on it, you know, constantly learning, constantly praying for wisdom, for guidance, you know, wondering if I'm doing this right. Oh, but he's such, he is so wonderful. I really have no complaints. If I'm going to complain, like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> I need a break. Um, but I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Um, I thank thank everyone who had pr praying for us, who had pr thought about us, who lifted us up in prayer. Um, I just thank everyone. Um, it is definitely a joy. Um, he's definitely bring just something new in our life and I am grateful I'm grateful because they're going by so fast it's going by so fast we got our son um when he was like three and a half months old going on four and so um so he was born in February and we had him in May okay um we would have gotten him we would have gotten him even sooner possibly maybe April just a month sooner um, because we had did all our paperwork and we were in the system by that time by March actually so we could have got him in April but perfect it was perfect timing when we got him and so we got him at three and a half months going on four and now he's going on three acting like he's 25 <laughs> so he's going on three um, he's gonna be three next month and so it's like oh my gosh we had him for that long <sighs> <laughs> we had him for that long he's going to be three and then he's going to be four and he's going to be five it's like oh my gosh and so it's like i want to just enjoy each moment just a precious moment right now he's eating he just woke up from his nap he slept a good while we were out and um so right now he's having his lunch um a little late lunch because i like to have him have lunch between about two um but anyway um so soon soon um we'll, you'll have the whole family i just wanted to take this moment like really like take this moment um when i say that just i was getting life together so i haven't been on here i just wanted to just get my house like really my house in order get everything organized decluttered you know for the new year get a nice system or, or, so i'm getting there garden season is around the corner so that's going to be busy with that but i got so much to share with you oh my gosh i got so much to share with you so i'm just giving you the update on the adoption mainly um and that um i'm officially a mom we're officially a full family um i'm right now in teaching him has a i have i bought books which I'll share later that is age appropriate to kind of start having that conversation about him being adopted and that we prayed for him. I prayed for him. You know, God chose us. You know, God adopted us in his, his family and, and we adopted him in our family. And so we're all adopted. So we're having that conversation. But when I tell you there's so much to share with you on the health tip, on women's health that I've been learning and researching, and some of it I've been applying on myself to make sure it works before I share with you guys, um, just helping women, um, just learning so much, talking about that I tore my ACL. Yes, homegirl tore her ACL. I, that need to be a whole video because I know I know the attention span be like okay Marisa this is a long video y'all like you know fast forwarded but I'm gonna talk about that I actually have it on my blog um, sheiswhole.org sheiswhole.org you'll find that there but yes I tore my ACL had a hairline fracture on my on my knee fractured my ankle bruised bones I'm talking about the worst but the girl is walking the girl is walking. I'm, I'm starting to do a little light jogging on the treadmill. Um, this happened in August. I stay on it. But everything healed. I did everything naturally. 
And so, because that's what we do over here. That's what we do. Pray, research, and do it the natural way. Um, so, I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, that is what I have today. I might do a little pop-up again with the family when my husband is home. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Preparation Day. Happy Sabbath when it comes. Until next time, bye-bye.